You're watching Adorama TV. Welcome to another episode of Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, today we're going to look at an app called Percolator. It allows you to throw your photos into the machine and it sort of adds these really awesome textures over the top of it to make it look sort of like a Klimt painting, which is really cool. So let's take a closer look at Percolator. Before we take a look at Percolator, let me first show you some shots I have here in my photo library that we're going to be working with. I've got this shot here of Dane Sanders and Matt Hill on location in uh, Las Vegas. And I've got a shot of me and my wife hanging out on her birthday. And then here's my bike on the set of Adorama TV. But this gives you a good idea of what the photos look like before we throw them into Percolator. So let me go back here and I'll open Percolator. And when we first open it, you can see that we've got all kinds of nice hints that tell us uh, how to use this. And it's so easy to use it. Um, you really only need three things. So the first thing we're going to do is choose a photo. And I'm going to choose this from my photo library. I'll go into my camera roll, and I think I'll just fix up this Dane shot right here. And so it's going to um, load this in, and it's going to boil the water and percolate and process and do all this stuff. And here's our percolation, and you can see that it looks nothing like the original image. If you blur your eyes a little bit, you can sort of see how this works. Now the neat thing is we can change all kinds of things. So this uses a coffee analogy, if you haven't noticed already, but we have the grind, the brew, and then we have uh, the serve over here. So we can go in here and we can say, you know what, I don't want to have this as a fine grind. Let's do it an extra fine. And then I'm going to re-grind that. And it's going to go and analyze that picture. It says preparing, grinding the beans, boiling the water. And then out pops our image here in a second. Percolating. And here it is. And then it sort of goes in. And we have different sized little circles. Now the thing that is so cool about this, we can push this little coffee cup, we can change everything. So we can change this from rings to this thing called treble. It's going to go in here and it's going to redo the image based on that. And now it sort of looks more like a, a painting of some sort here. We can do an overprint. Again, it goes in and does some cool things. And so we have all this. I sort of like that. It's pretty cool. But we can do all kinds of different shapes. We can do this one called full of stars. It pops it in, it looks like a celestial kind of map. We've got Superstar, and that pops in, it looks sort of funky. So I'm going to go back here to Overprint, because I sort of liked it. And it looks like Matt's getting smacked in the face. But we have this sort of interesting look here. Now I can also go down here and do some other things. If I click right on that, I can really fine tune exactly what's happening with all the different circles or stars or dots. I can change the sizes, the opacity of that. I can go over to the serve. I can change the coloring that we have. It's going to pop that in really fast. Um, so that's light and sweet. And there's a bunch of different ones here. Soy and a little spoon and stirred. And I'm going to leave it on light and sweet. And also I can click this and add different effects here. So just by playing with all of these different things, I can make something that is totally unique to each picture. And that's something that's really cool. Now when I have that done, I can click here and just sort of uh, see it if I want to um, save this. So I'll click on the coffee and that'll bring that down. If I want to save this or share it with friends, I just click on the little heart button and then I can share that on Twitter or Facebook. I can send it through email or I can save that to my photos. So I'll do that. It says image to go. So again, coffee shop analogy is really fun. So it saves that to my uh, photo roll. And then if I go in here, I'll just go back to my photos. There's the original and then there's the remake. And it's just that simple. It's a really fun app. It's really easy to work with, and it's very inexpensive. Well, Percolator is a lot of fun, and as you can see, it's really fun just to sort of mix up different brews and get different looks for your photos and then share them with friends and family. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Hey, if you have an iPad app that you'd like me to review, please send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.